and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching I am Sheree welcome and if you are returning welcome back I'm so happy to have you here thanks for coming back I need to take 2.5 seconds and just breathe somebody asked that the other day they were like girl do you breathe you guys I'm trying to get it all out you know how it is I talk fast anyway but I am trying to breathe and I talk with my hands so anyways I am doing a series on the channel I asked you guys last week if you wanted to hear more about spring favorites I said I was gonna go out do some research look for some new spring fragrances to bring you and see what I was able to find so I was on the hunt got in the car drove headed over to Ulta Sephora Nordstrom's I still have not made it to Saks Fifth yet but I did go to Barney's so I do have a biredo video coming up um, fragrances all about biredo but for the spring fragrances I found four did I found four or three okay I think I may have found three or four I don't know I found three or four but what I want to do I want to take this video through March 20th so because I believe March 20th is the first day of spring so by that time we would have all found a new fragrance or maybe an old fragrance or maybe you're just gonna keep the fragrance you have you guys I want to be truthful with you I went in I smelled all these fragrances I wore them and I've got an opinion about them if you want to see what that is keep watching oh my gosh if you've not hit the subscribe button yet I would love for you to join the team I love for you to join the family here on this channel I cover fashion beauty luxury and lifestyle so if you like any of those things or all of those things make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell it will notify you every single time a video is put out on this channel okay now that we've got that out the way let's get started first fragrance that I'm gonna be telling you guys about you know I've got my handy dandy paper here because I like to bring you facts and I like to bring you notes well, I like to have notes better is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, my eyes are so puffy. Okay, let's start off with number one. So I went in. These are going to come in no particular order. I'm just going to tell you about the ones that I have found and my opinion on what I think about them. All the scents that I was smelling are all very floral and very fruity and very Prada candy, Prada sticky kind of vibe. And I don't really know if I really love fragrances like that. Like they were just very sweet, very Viva La Juicy, very just just florally but very sweet floral this one here the Marc Jacob Daisy sunshine it's a limited edition the bottle and the packaging is absolutely beautiful as it normally is with Marc Jacob I mean that's just how their fragrances look very pretty very you know good style good um, eye candy to sit on your vanity if that's what you're looking for that I give it a a, a 10 out of a 10 all the time hands down the notes of this fragrance was like white strawberries it had some marigold in it it had some white woods so it had different things like that I'm gonna take it out so I went in I went to Sephora I got all these samples da, 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 samples because I'm not gonna buy it unless I love it and I need to see how it performs before I buy it I'm gonna smell really good again and I got my handy dandy little strips here from Ulta this video is not sponsored by Ulta but Ulta hello let's spray this it's it's good it's fresh it's clean it's sweet it's it's nice it's not a wow factor it doesn't over the top it doesn't give me anything new anything sexy any fresh clean a lines it's very florally it's very sweet it's like sunshine so I would say that if you were trying to put it somewhere or place it somewhere it would be more sunshine it would be happy it would be upbeat it'd be more sunshine it would be something that you can wear anywhere um you could wear this Sunday think of easy like Sunday morning that's what this fragrance does for me it's just not wowing me what I purchased this no the longevity of it was fine this is the number one like everybody's loving this everybody's buying it it was a huge seller um, I asked the lady at Sephora like how is it doing like how are people loving it she goes people are really loving it it's really popular people are reaching for it if you like sweet if you like flirty if you like florally if you like like white berries um, marigold if you like just just sugar sweet I would definitely tell you to check this one out so Marc Jacob Daisy sunshine is what this fragrance is if you like sweet if you want easy like Sunday morning and easy wear nothing too out of the top nothing to over the top this would be the one for you for me it's a no now this one this one that I'm telling you about is Gucci flora and this is gorgeous Gardena I love that name am I saying it right or am I making it up you know I make up stuff here right let me see if I'm saying it right let me read it so I can make sure I'm saying it right yes it is okay so this is 
this is new too this is new the packaging is beautiful it's in a limited edition bottle this is a limited edition fragrance she said it was new she said that this one is flying off the shelf it's doing really really well I said I need to smell it and test it and wear it for myself I wore this yesterday to a girls brunch midway through the girls brunch I did not smell it I kept smelling my hand to see if I smelled it I didn't smell it I didn't get any compliments on it nobody said anything about it my initial reaction when I first sprayed it there in the store and she put it on me it was good again very very sweet again very very florally like the sweet kind of floral so so let me see what are some of the notes that they have in this particular fragrance for that so this one is yeah again it's a lot of berries some gardenia it has some patchouli in it which i love it but the patchouli is not really really coming through maybe after a little bit the dry down you can smell the patchouli but not in the initial the initial is very 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 sweet very uh gardenia yeah yeah you can smell the gardenia but it's just very sweet um i don't know if i necessarily love sweet fragrances like this so let's try this one on it's good though it's i smell a little bit of citrus i particularly like this one better than i like the mark jacob daisy sunshine this i would grab first before i grab that one this is good it's just it's good but it's not great you know what i mean it's not hello I've not said this the whole video this is not a double 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 take I mean it's a is it even a take I don't know it smells good would I recommend it guys no I'm recommending you go smell this the packaging is beautiful look at the bottle I'm gonna get a picture and put it up the packaging is beautiful the color is eye grabbing it's bold the beautiful box that it comes in with all the beautiful pastel flowers and roses and everything like that is absolutely gorgeous I won't count this out if I was gifted this I would take it and I would wear it Would I purchase it at this moment in this time no but it's good so try this one. I recommend you go try this. Now this I am gonna recommend. It's good. I don't know, it might grow on me. If somebody wants to give this to me, send it over. I would gladly accept it. This is the ED Toilette. This is not a perfume. It is nice. Um, you can get a 50 mil. It'll run you about $78 for the other one of Marc Jacob. You can get a 50 mil that's gonna run you about $84. Just given prices, just so that you see, is it even worth you going to try, going to smell? Is it something that would work for you? I am gonna say I would choose the Gucci so far over the Marc Jacobs, okay? I can see why they would put it out in this time of the year. You know, very sweet, flowers blooming, birds singing, you know, it's, I, I get it. But it's a tad bit too sweet for me. Okay, let's go into another one. Okay, this one I picked up. I wore the original one years and years ago, and I really liked it. However, I outgrew it. Have you ever, tell me in the comment section, have you ever loved a fragrance? And then you just notice, like, I've outgrown this fragrance. It is no longer me. I'm kind of over it. I'm not going to replace it or put it in my collection. That's how I feel about this next fragrance that I'm getting ready to share with you. I'm probably going to butcher the name, but it is none other than, and I'm going to place a picture here, it is none other than Chantanda. I don't know if that's how you say it or not. That's how I'm saying it for today. Give me credit. I at least have the color of the shirt on. <laughs> this bottle is beautiful. It's a beautiful bottle. I did love the bottle. It's a little bit different than the original one. It has a silver cap. It has a gold accent on the writing. It's beautiful. You know I'm going to be biased. It's Chanel. What can I say? I love Chanel. This fragrance smells really good. The only thing about it is, you guys, again, everything is so super sweet. I don't want to smell like sugar. I'm not even supposed to be eating sugar right now. I'm starting a diet. Not really a diet. I'm just going to lean out a little bit before spring and summer gets here. So I'm going to go off the grid on a few things that I'm eating and push my plate away a little bit and um, mix in a salad. No, not really, but really. So yeah, this one's good though it's good i do like this one better than i like the original but it smells very similar to the original so i wouldn't put it back in my collection because it just smells like a time and place in my life that i've been there i've done that and i'm over it but if i was gifted it and i always have to say that out there because you never know somebody might want to send you a gift you just don't know i don't know so i don't want to stop anybody from saying i'll take it i, I keep telling you guys that i will take it mm, this is good though this is really good. I mean, hey, let's just put this on and wear today. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm going to start sneezing. This is good though. I would put this on and wear it. I don't know. I might give this a chance. If I can get a really small bottle because a 50 mil, it's running 105. So that's, you know, it's not too pricey. It's not too bad, but you know, 
it's still 105 it's good it, this smells clean to me and I think that's because I know this has some grapefruit in it it has some rose in it it, it has some white musk in it so it is good the only thing is that it just smells like something that I've already had that I've already worn and that I've already went there in my life but it does have a little bit of a different smell to it than the original so I don't know if that would be enough you should go and sample it out see if it would be enough for you to make you want to purchase it and I'm gonna say it again it is very very sweet and then another thing about this one that this one is a little bit more intense than the other one I would say that this has more potency the longevity on this is a little bit longer as well it's not a real long time I would definitely say layering it anytime you guys want your fragrance to last a little bit longer the way that I've been told to apply them is if it comes with a lotion a body cream a croups anything like that apply that first and then apply the fragrance on it make sure you apply the fragrance you know on your skin as well as your clothing you know I like to sometime take the fragrance and hold it up like this and then like walk through it or you know sit through it or come up so that it falls evenly on your body and when you just walk past somebody you could just go like oh my god and they're like oh my god you smell so good and you turn around and you go thank you you know what I mean just because you're classy so you say thank you I think that's it I but, but this one okay so let's rate them let's rate them let's race them Marc Jacob Daisy sunshine very sweet really good very sweet then you have the flora Gucci gorgeous gardenia which is sweet but not as sweet as Marc Jacob but still you're gonna get some white berries in there you're gonna get some strawberry just think of that fruity flirty type of sweet scent which is okay then you're gonna come to Chanel Tanda okay and this is gonna give you some grapefruit some jasmine some rose um, a little bit of a little bit of fresh clean but more than anything sweet but not as sweet as the other two so if I had to choose one out of all three of these that I've shared so far I'm gonna go with Chanel Edu Tunda and not because I'm biased and I love Chanel but because this will smell closer to what I want to smell like the other two just smells to me like candy it smells just too sweet it just smells like a bouquet of flowers which is great for spring but I don't want to smell like flowers I like to smell a little sexy a little fresh a little clean and then a little sweet you know what I mean I'm a really sweet girl though. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. But this would be the way I would go. I do want to share with you guys Mew Mew. I am going to pop a clip up. I have a whole video on this fragrance. This smells really, really good. I'm not going to go into any detail about it, you guys. I want you to stay on the channel and watch the clip. Watch this video. It's really good. If you want something fresh, clean, and this smells different. This smells like nothing I have in my collection. This stands alone and it's very unique because I don't have any Mew Mew. Mew Mew. I love saying Mew Mew. This is different. So if you want something different, watch this video. See what I'm saying about it. I would definitely recommend this one as well. So we have four fragrances here that I spoke about today. If you were to come to me and ask me, so Sheree, what is your spring fragrance of your choice I'm still going to choose Gucci Bloom Gucci Bloom just does it for me if you have not watched that video and how I feel about it and why I chose that one make sure you watch it I'll put it right after this one you can watch it right after it is an amazing one so if you're trying to get your hands on something for spring and you're looking for something check out these recommendations don't forget to check out Gucci Bloom we are having a winner that will be chosen and I will let you guys know I'm probably gonna put it um, I'll just contact the winner that's generally what I do so make sure you're checking your DMs. We're going to take this all the way through March and find some new spring fragrances. If you love this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you have any other fragrances that you would like for me to try that I have not mentioned, make sure you put it in the comment section below. I make myself a list and then I go and I do research and I look at these fragrances. You guys, I love fragrance, so I love these videos. I am having a blast with this. So thank you so much for being a part of it. I know I have a Byredo video coming up. I went to Byredo. I went to the store. I hope I'm saying that name right. I asked lady like 70 times how do I say it by Rado by Rado by Rado so that video is coming out I can tell you right now gypsy water OMG so stay tuned for that look in check in next week what else do I have to tell you that's coming up make sure you check out Sunday's video I post two videos a week every Sunday every Wednesday and I love the fact that you guys are watching and the channel is growing so shout out to all the new subscribers shout out to all the old subscribers I appreciate you guys and thank you so much for coming on this journey with me I could have not done this or I couldn't do this without you so anything that you want to see any video any reviews any anything leave it in the comment section below I appreciate you guys and until next time you know the drill be blessed stay fit and definitely stay fabulous thanks for watching guys bye